This is Meriwether's Restaurant, 1700 River Road in Bismarck, North Dakota. It's June 25th, 2011. And this is the highest the river has been up at 19.05 feet. Very slippery on the deck as I walk out. My feet kind of got a little slick there. We were up here about 10 days ago. And we can see some of this pathway. The water, of course, has come a lot higher this way. And as we cross over, we'll see uh, some debris now against the boat dock area for the Lewis and Clark River boat, which is way downstream now. You can see the water was up here a little bit higher at one point. In fact, when I was videotaping before, it was up higher here. This this raft against the railings here to the former dock is, is and the sign is gone. Remember, there was a sign here that showed all different places you could go all over North Dakota and the world. That's disappeared. And uh, that's what we can see here. The water was higher here there at one time, but it seems to be on the other side. So the building has listed towards the east. It's still taking on water here through the places we saw before. Very slick now against here going into the former candy shop here as you can see through here and then uh, this part you can see is definitely taking a shift to the east as the water from the Missouri River comes in on the Meriwether's here a lot of bugs bugs weren't here 10 days ago uh, you can see the water seeping in here and you can see on the line there was a little bit higher as I walk up here I can hear the building starting to crack so I'm going to back back out again and we can see a separation between the two walls on the front part of the patio here, hear that cracking noise. As I walk up here, some birds have nested, uh, ironically, up here. I don't know if those are new ones or old ones, but this canopy is cracking, so I'm backing away from here. And this is what we can see at the former 1911 Wilton Train Depot that was located here in the late 1980s and part of the centennial celebrations for North Dakota statehood. It was brought down here as part of the park and now it's uh, succumbing to the ravages of this mega flood, the likes of which have never been seen before in June, certainly not in July, and we're told through August now. And this will continue to degrade here as the river continues to rise. It's going to at least 19.5 feet. Many people believe that's a number it will surpass 20, 22 feet. Some other predictors have said it all depends how fast the snow melt comes out from the mountains of Montana where it's way above normal for this time of year. If it comes out fast, this river will have to rise because the garrison dam behind it is full and they cannot take very much more water up there. They'll have to open up those floodgates a little bit wider to release more water. But if everything stays according to plan, they'll stay at this release, this mega flood, at least through mid-August, we're told. And that's the plan release schedule for the next two months, basically. We lost over 800 homes on the both sides of the river here on the former river bottom lands 4,000 people evacuated at least through the summer some are wondering now if they're even going to get back in in the fall because the water has to recede and then the winter comes here early as most people know that's what North Dakota is famous for so if the soils start to freeze up how much road work can be done how much reaccess to their property they, they can get to those are all questions we don't know right now how it's going to affect the tax base as a Burley County Commissioner we're looking into those numbers as well. What it will affect not only the people who lost their homes who don't have a tax, what it will affect those property values, but for the rest of us who are not affected, we may have to see our taxes adjusted upward if we want the same level of service, both from the county, city, and other government entities that operate here, particularly the schools as well. So a mega disaster with a mega flood and a lot of unknowns still ahead here just north of the Interstate 94 Grant Marsh Bridge, the major east-west route across the country here on June 25th, 2011, in front of the breaking apart 1911 Wilton Train Depot station, the Meriwether's Restaurant and Lounge, closed for business, as is every other business along the river, as is every other pontoon owner or boat owner. You normally would see this channel full of boats on a day like today in June, the last weekend in June. This would be packed. This would be the place to be. And now all you see is desolation from this mega flood event.